Hello, this is Mia with the Rainbow Cauldron, and this is your weekly journal reading for October 19th through the 25th, 2014. And uh, I apologize for the lighting in here. It is a very dark day. Um, it's rainy outside, and frankly, I love this weather. I love when it's rainy. I love when it's overcast. But it's not as conducive to video making. Um, you know, so I have a bunch of lights on in here trying to get <laughs> better lighting. And really, you know, you can only really see these when you look close up, like when I bring it up to the camera. And then you can kind of see the, you know, what it kind of looks like. Um, but, of course, all the way back here, you can't, it's all yeah, convoluted. <laughs> so, um, so uh, with the weekly general readings, I've been using the uh, Celtic Tree Oracle. Um, this uh, first card that I lay down will be from this deck and will represent the general theme or feeling throughout the week, something to think about. And um, this week, the tarot deck that I'll be using is the Shadowscapes Tarot, and this is such a beautiful, beautiful deck. Um, it's hard to see in my terrible lighting right now, but uh, it's a very beautiful deck, and I'll probably use it for the next week's reading as well, hopefully with better lighting so you can really see the beauty of the, of the cards. Okay, so, as I said, the first card I laid down will be from the um, Celtic Tree Oracle deck, and will represent the general theme of feeling throughout the week. The three cards below will be from the Shadowscapes Tarot deck, and will, will represent the general flow of energy that this week. Um, it doesn't really represent any specific things, but um, an overall flow of energy that may go back and forth. Okay, so the first card is Oak, the Mighty Oak. Okay, and um, the Oak Tree, you know, this is like, when I think of the um, Oum deck, or the Oum, the Oum alphabet, the Oum um, trees, oak is probably one of the first car, first trees that come to mind. And the oak tree represents prote protection, um, strength, and really um, doorways to other worlds. And uh, there's this uh, stern, solid, uh, almost stubbornness, um, but also open. Uh, because, you know, the oak is so strong and solid and um, unwavering, but it's also, you know, very open to, it, it really, it represents, um, you know, passing into other worlds. So there's, there's an openness with it, but a set in, set in the ways, a, a confidence about um, views and well, it, you know, the mighty oak tree, it's, it's one of those one of the most spiritual trees and has long been associated with spirituality. And as we're approaching one of the most important trees of pagan holidays, Samhain or Halloween, uh, this seems especially relevant. Um, I think about the story of the god descending into the other world on Samhain and uh, going through the doorway uh, with solid readiness, with um, a confidence going through the God, going to the other world with a feeling very confident. Um, it, it's not a scared, you know, it's, it's not a scary journey. It's something um, that might be difficult to, that might seem difficult to do uh, going to this new chapter, but it's something that he does with a solid readiness, a confidence, going forward with what may seem difficult, with strength and courage and um, confidence that you're going in the right direction. And that's the energy that I get from the oak tree here. Okay, and the three cards down below, we have the Knight of Cups. And I, since the far away view is so difficult, see, I'm going to show each one of these up close really well. The Knight of Cups. Okay. 
the Queen of Pentacles. And finally, we have the Page of Pentacles. Trying to get a good view of this. All right, so, um, well, there's a lot of people um, surrounding us this coming week. I mean, each one of these is a court card. Um, so it really, what, what that indicates to me is there's a lot of gatherings going on or celebrations going on this uh, coming week or, um, or planning for events that uh, have to do with a lot of people. Um, and, you know, this makes sense for me personally, as this weekend we'll be getting family members, getting visit uh, from family members. And the next weekend uh, is a Greek salon ritual. Um, uh, maybe this is relevant to you as well. The Knight of Cups is a person who is sensitive, romantic, and idealistic. I mean, here he goes. He's he's dreaming of this, and he's he's working his way towards it. And that really connects with that card as well. Really moving his way toward there. Um, and then the Queen of Pentacles is a person who uh, nurtures, uh, cares for, and gives practical advice. Uh, she's a parent type figure, very uh, motherly. Um, and of course, uh, these court cards, they could represent anyone. It um, doesn't have to be male or female. Um, anyone who espouses these uh, personalities. And the... Um, and the Page of Pentacles represents a younger attitude, childlike wonder, apprenticeship, um, someone who's um, just starting out. And we're surrounded by these personalities this coming week. Um, it does feel very family-centric with the Queen Mother, the Page Child, and the Knight Love Interest. Um, so maybe I'm not the only one who will be uh, with family this coming week. Um, this also connects with the oak card. Um, what, what I get with this reading is that if it's not speaking of the coming celebrations of the coming holiday or, um, or you know, gatherings, things like that, what we're seeing is a difficult road coming up, but you're entering it with solid confidence because of the support that's from those around you so there there's a big support system going on here and um, that's really aiding in a confidence to go forward in uh, um, projects or uh, a path to take a a seemingly difficult path but you're entering it um, with solid footing a solid confidence because you're really receiving some support from those around you, especially from family this week. All right, so that was a pretty um, short reading, but I think it uh, got the message across. Um, well, thank you so much for watching, and again, I'm sorry for the lighting in here. It's just a very overcast, dark day, and I've tried to use some, some of my lights, but uh, that made it a, a little too bright. But. <laughs> But uh, hopefully this is helpful for you, and thank you so much for watch watching, and blessed be.